Hello and thank you for joining us. The number of daily new COVID-19 cases reported in South Korea has been on somewhat of a steady decline and the only noticeable virus prevention measure that remains here is the need to wear face masks when you're inside. But the lifting of this mask mandate depends greatly on the vaccination rate of uh, senior citizens, those over the age of 60, as the number of COVID-19 related deaths has hit a three-month high in the country, Ian Jin reports. South Korea reported 25,545 new COVID-19 cases on Monday, with the number remaining below 70,000 for the fourth straight day. But on Saturday, the number of new COVID-19 related deaths hit a three-month high of 70. This comes as health authorities have laid out criteria for phasing out the indoor mask mandate. The four criteria are a stable number of new infections, a downtrend in critically ill cases and deaths, robust medical capabilities, and a high vaccination rate among high-risk groups. What stands key to the government setting a date for the end of the indoor mask mandate is the high-risk group of elderly over the age of 70 getting their updated booster shots, as 89% of the critically ill and 96% of the reported deaths are from those over the age of 60. The low inoculation rate has great effect on removing the indoor mask mandate. As much as it is a hindrance, I want to reiterate that it is crucial to raise the vaccination rate right now. The winter booster vaccination campaign has been extended another two weeks until the end of this month to get more people in high-risk groups vaccinated. Experts say it is important that the booster shots are promoted better so that more people have information about them. People who didn't experience side effects from the vaccine previously are most likely not going to show side effects, and the overall chances of any side effects will be reduced to one-tenth. So according to KDCA statistics, those that have already been vaccinated a few times don't need to worry much. As the government urges people to get updated variant-specific booster vaccines, an additional Moderna vaccine has received emergency approval from the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety. That means starting Monday, four types of booster shots will be available. Teenagers between the ages of 12 and 17 are only eligible to receive the two types of Pfizer vaccines. But both the Moderna booster shots are available to those over the age of 18. Ian Jin, Arirang News.